It was a grand and green New York City tradition dating back hundreds of years, and it happened once again on Fifth Avenue, the St. Patrick's Day Parade billed as the world's oldest and largest. CBS 2's Dave Carlin took it all in. You like all those things? Yes. Six-year-old Colin Gormley and his family are among the estimated two million spectators lining Fifth Avenue for the world's largest and oldest St. Patrick's Day Parade. <laughs> New York's parade has grown to feature about 200,000 people marching from 44th Street to 79th. Feeling the love, feeling Irish. Long live the Irish! The first New York City St. Patrick's Day Parade was held March 17, 1762, 14 years before the signing of the Declaration of Independence. Parade organizers say this year, the money raised is going to Meals on Wheels, Catholic Charities, City Harvest, and other organizations that combat hunger. And over here in front of the 72nd Street subway station, books by Irish authors being given away for free. Free books. I mean, I can't go wrong. All the houses are going pretty quickly. We're out at 10 locations all across all five boroughs handing out free books, and this is the 11th year that we've done it. She invites anyone with an interest in Irish heritage to visit the place where she works, Irish Arts Center on 11th Avenue in Hell's Kitchen. Irish Arts Center isn't just Irish in March, although we're happy when everybody else is, uh, but we are programming year-round in a brand new contemporary art space, theater, literature, film screenings, dance, music. Inside the center and out on our city streets for the parade, to be Irish is to find joy and make sure everyone all around feels it too. On Fifth Avenue, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News.